guys and happy Friday. It's Friday and here's what I'm taking with me to work today. So coffee is my usual three capsules of espresso for zero smart points and I will add some uh, powdered cream when I get to work. Three teaspoons of powdered cream is one smart point and then my beverage today is going to be this sparkling ice grapefruit for lunch. So coffee and my drink is one smart point today. And breakfast this morning is my peanut butter banana oatmeal minus the banana because I have no banana. So we're just going with um, some chocolate oatmeal. What is that? Peanut butter chocolate oatmeal. Yeah. So this is three smart points. I have in there a quarter cup of dry oatmeal for two smart points, a third cup of Trader Joe's vanilla almond milk for zero smart points, one tablespoon of cocoa powder for zero smart points, and two tablespoons of PB2 for one smart point, and two packets of sweetener for zero. So that all together is three smart points, and I will either eat this in the car or eat it when I get to work. So three smart points for breakfast. Lunch is the rest of the barbecue beef, so it's three ounces of barbecue beef for three smart points with one tablespoon of Chris and Pitt's barbecue sauce for one smart point. So the barbecue beef is four smart points. I'm going to have that with a whole bunch of carrots, and I'm dipping the carrots in this yogurt. I like to dip it in just the plain, non-fat Greek yogurt um, with or without seasonings. I just like the flavor of the yogurt. So carrots and yogurt are zero smart points. And then for snack, I'm just having one hard boiled egg. So everything that I'm having today before dinner is gonna be one for coffee, three for oatmeal, and four for the beef. That is eight smart points before dinner. Okay, I decided to swing by the dollar store. I'm a little bit early to work. So I did get a banana for my peanut butter banana oatmeal. So I will eat that when I get into work. And I got these to go with my lunch. These actually sound better than carrots. I love these mini bell peppers. So I'll probably eat this whole bag, um, but that's not a problem because not only are they zero points, they're also super low in calories. So I got those. And then I finally got some creamer for my coffee. So I will put four tablespoons for one smart point. And that is my Super huge Friday dollar store grocery haul. Happy Friday! Woo! Happy Friday! It is 11:30. I'm on my first walk break of the day. Here's my outfit of the day. Super duper hot here still. So here's my plan for the day. I did not get a blue dot yesterday, which is okay because the blue dot challenge is six days out of seven. Um, the challenge started on a Wednesday, so I just need to get blue dots until next Tuesday. So we'll see if that's possible. Um, no blue dot yesterday. Everything else, I, I did do all of the rest of the challenges. So for today, um, last night I thought it was a great idea for some reason to stay up late and watch Ant-Man. <laughs> so we went to bed at like 1.15. Super tired today, so I'm not going to go for a walk with my friend at lunch today. Instead, I'm going to take a nap, <laughs> which I cannot wait for. I was so tired driving to work today. Um, so I'm gonna take a nap today instead of doing my walk. So therefore, I am committing to doing three walks to the park today. Um, I think that the walks are about nine tenths of a mile, but I actually set my um, my Nike GPS thing this time so I can get a very, very accurate count. So I will do three walks to the park and that should, I mean, it'll definitely be, it'll be over two miles, so that's cool. Um, but I need at least one mile for the one mile challenge. And then I will do my guns, buns, and abs today. I've already started doing those. Um, what I do is, I think I said in my last video that I go and do them in the filing cabinet. I don't do my guns, buns, and abs exercises in the filing cabinet. I do them in the filing room. <laughs> There's usually nobody in there, so I break them up into five sessions. I've done one session so far, um, and I'll do another four sessions and get guns, buns, and abs done. Um, the 100 Healthy Habits in 100 Days challenge for today is to take the stairs as much as possible today. Um, so I am purposely using the bathroom downstairs every time I need to use the bathroom today. So I'll get that challenge out of the way too. So those are all my challenges. 
Um, I know that I did not stick with low carb today for breakfast because oatmeal just sounded so good. Um, I also had the pizza last night, so this is, for example, what I said when I said I wanted to go lower carb, but I can't do completely 100% low carb um, because it's just not sustainable for me. And that is why I continue to count points and I continue to stay on Weight Watchers because even if I want to go lower carb or higher carb or keto or whatever, as long as I stay within my points and within the guidelines of the Weight Watchers plan, then it still all works for me. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the oatmeal was awesome, by the way. And um, tonight we're probably going, the pizza was awesome last night too. Um, I only had two slices, I was very proud of myself. Uh, we are probably going to Hooters tonight for dinner because we are going to see Christopher Robin at the El Capitan. Super excited for that and when we go to the El Capitan in Hollywood, sometimes we like to go to Hooters. There's a Hooters like right down there and they have grilled fish tacos. So pretty low in points. They are, I think they are flour tortillas instead of corn tortillas. So that makes them a little higher in points, but three very small flour tortillas is still only eight points. And then one point for the sauce that they use. So it's only nine points for grilled fish tacos. They're super delicious. So. That's the plan for dinner. So I'm gonna go head back to work, work a little more, get my lunchtime nap in, and I'll see you guys on my second walk break of the day. Hey, it's three o'clock. It's my second walk break of the day doing three-fourths of a mile. I don't know if I told you guys this, but there is a bread bakery very, very close to my work, like less than a block. And every time they bake bread, oh my gosh, it's like so much torture. And they just happen to be baking bread today, right now. It smells amazing, <laughs> amazing. I think I need to make some of that two ingredient dough sometime soon because I haven't had it for a really long time. And it'd be nice to have just some rolls or even some pizza or some breadsticks or something fun with that two ingredient dough. So I think I'll do that soon. And that way when I smell this heavenly aroma, at least I can have something to look forward to also. <laughs> Okay guys, last walk break of the day. My last three quarters of a mile, it's 4.30. I wanted to remind you guys about the meetup in Texas. Super excited at the end of this month, August 25th to be exact, at 6.30, we are having a meetup in Texas for everyone who wants to do a living large meetup. So it's gonna be at 6.30 on August 25th. We are gonna meet at Media which sounds like an amazing Mexican restaurant with amazing margaritas. So please let me know down in the comments below if you can come so we know how many to expect and how many to make the reservations for. And thank you so much, Bobby, for doing the research and making the reservations for me. I super, super appreciate that. Also, this is kind of a long shot because I don't think that there are any of you watching that actually live in my hometown in Idaho, but I will be in Pocatello, Idaho at the end of the month as well from August 30th until September 9th. If anyone is in that area and would like to meet up, please let me know down below because I would love to meet you and say hi in my very own hometown. I'd love to see you. It's still really hot out here. I'm headed back to work. We're almost done guys. We're almost done with the week yes okay one more I'm actually going to be in Salt Lake City Utah on September 9th um, I could meet for lunch or dinner in Utah if any of you happen to be there um, it's got to be Salt Lake City though it's got to be nearby because I will not be able to drive around and go any further than that because I'll be traveling as is so anyway let me know